Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. We've been discussing in the last, well, I guess six videos, uh, we've been talking about healing, trying to answer questions, trying to cover it from all different perspectives. I want you to understand this is such a huge subject that I'm just trying to give you the basic principles and answer those, you know, those most common questions and thoughts that come to us when we're seeking healing and can't seem, especially can't seem to get it. But I also want you to understand that the principles of this is is applicable really for the healing of other things as well as just body and physical ailments and healings. You know, we a lot of times need spiritual deliverance, spiritual healing in our emotions. Uh, things happen to us that scar us. Things put us in bondage. We need deliverance. Things uh, come about us that we get addicted to and we need deliverance. And so I want you to know that this seeking that we talked about in the last video in particular is applicable for deliverance as well as physical healing. And so I, I just wanted to continue on. I just feel like this is such an important subject that there's another perspective I want you to 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 definitely get to. Uh, you might say from a, a different level of what we talked about last week in Hebrews chapter eleven six. We focused uh, we focused on the last second part of the verse that that God rewards us when we diligently seek Him, and this is so true. And as I emphasized in the last devotion, I, I want to emphasize it again today. I cannot stress enough that if you really want to receive the promises of God for whatever your desire and whatever your need, that it's through seeking God, diligently seeking. And you know what diligently means. That means really working at it. It's through that that God rewards you and honors that well, let's say it the way Jesus said, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled, he said. And so I want to uh, stress again to you today, but I don't want to do a duplicate of last week's video, that you cannot, uh, you cannot hunger enough, thirst enough, and you cannot be diligent enough seeking righteousness, seeking God, seeking His promise, seeking the things of His Word and the inheritance that God has placed out there for you and for me as, as His children and as Christians. But now I want to take you to a different perspective of this as well, because it became something really that God has revealed to me uh, in some of these issues. What can happen is that you're working so hard at uh, being diligent and you're believing, oh God, I'm working hard at this, and I, Lord, I don't understand. I've sought you. I've done that which you said. You said you reward those that diligently seek you. Did you know you can begin working at trying to receive your healing? Now, we've talked about, in other videos, we've talked about how you cannot earn your salvation. You cannot work hard enough to be saved. You can't do enough good things. You can't be good enough. I, I don't want to continue through all that but really it applies not just to uh, just to salvation being born again but it also applies to healing yes we need to diligently work and you I'm not going to reiterate it again yes we need to do that but because that is very important but you will not get your healing just by earning it from your works but it is very important that you be persuaded, and I use that word purposely, persuaded. You see in Romans, it talks a lot about Abraham, who was called the father of faith. In Hebrews chapter 11, the chapter that we call the faith chapter, as an example to us, he wasn't talking necessarily about healing, but it applies. He talks about Abraham and his, some of his, the things that he had, the qualities that he had of faith. And in Hebrews 11, verse 13, it uses three particular words that apply even to healing. It says he was persuaded. You know, you've got to be persuaded. You've got to be persuaded that his word is from God, the Bible. You've got to be persuaded that God does not lie, that it's true what he says. You've got to believe that he has said it and, and he, that it's applicable to you. You've got to believe that since God has said it, you've got to per be persuaded that well, God said it has got to be true. God said with your stripes you were, you were healed. Well, you must be persuaded. 
You believe he says you can say to this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it will happen? You must believe that. Or whatsoever you desire, when you pray, you believe you have it, and you shall receive it. Jesus said those things. They are true. And you must be persuaded that because he said it, they are true. And then the other quality was he embraced it. Well, if you're persuaded, then you embrace it. Take it in. Take it into your heart. Because you see, believing is in the heart. Believing in the heart for salvation, it can't just be in the head. It can't just be some intellectual belief. It must be a true belief that you're persuaded in your heart. And so what I wanted to get to you today was the fact that you must be diligent, but you still cannot earn through your works. Now God will honor it. I'm convinced. I believe he honored all my works. But you know, it, it may have been that I worked so hard, in fact, very possible, I worked so hard at it that I was trying to earn my healing. You know, if I would have only believed, and that's the issue, if I would only believe that God has said it, therefore it's going to happen, if I would just believe with childlike faith, as he told us, that we need childlike faith, if I would only believe, you know, I probably wouldn't have had those two years or so each time to receive the healings that I did receive. I've received several, as I've told you. But you know, if I look back on it almost every time, it took a year, two years. And during that process, because I wanted the healing so bad, I mean, I was in pain with some of them, or, or some fear with some of them that could be cancer or whatever from lumps or whatever they were. And you know, if I would have just simply believed... Maybe it wouldn't have took two years. Maybe I wouldn't have had all that frustration and those questions. Oh God, why? How come? Lord, I've been diligently seeking, like you said. How come it's taken so long? And all that, all those whys and wherefores and how comes. And what I want to get across to you today is very likely, I, I have no trouble in, you know, don't, I, you know, I'm talking about me, I know, but it's very likely. The frustration and all the whys and stuff came because I wouldn't just believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Beloved, the scripture says all things are possible to him that believe. And so what I would tell you today is be persuaded, embrace, don't be afraid or ashamed to confess it to the people around you that you're believing for healing. You're believing because God has said it and you know his word is true. Beloved, I pray that that you'll receive that that you're seeking, but you'll receive it by faith in no other way. Well, I hope this has been encouraging, and I hope it encourages you and stirs you to seek your healing and to believe. Well, this is Pastor Talk for you, and I'm Pastor Steve, and God bless you.